What's up guys, this is Sabe Knight, and welcome back to Wizards and Warriors for the NES. Last episode, I completed level 6, the Castle Iron Spire exterior. Had to climb the walls to the topmost tower to make my way inside to find a key that unlocks a door to the outside. Like at the bottom, very bottom, in the center. So you're essentially walking through the front door at this point. That's awesome. I mean, you're not just trying to sneak in. I mean, you literally walk through the front door to his domain. Once inside, I am now starting level 7, the castle interior. Outside. Very loud thunderings. to drip. Stupid skeleton fucking... <sighs> oh, 
fucking... Mm. Trying to go for that goddamn key. Now, supposedly they have a trick to killing, because I think I'm actually getting close to the boss here. Uh, it's supposed to be like a trick that you can do to kill the boss like super easy, because the boss is a fucking pain in the ass. I don't know if it, if it will work or not, because I'm just finding out about this trick, so let me see if it'll actually work. Okay, and there we go. And I'll explain whenever there's the fucking skeleton changeling. There's a goddamn asshole. <sighs> fucking A. So apparently what happens whenever you float up using the uh, potion of levitation and then drop back down and then float up again and drop back down. Damn, 10, 20, and 50? Rescue Candida. Distress damsel, 50,000 points. Damn, like 871,000. All right. Give me one second. All right. So what happens is whenever you use the potion of levitation and you drop back down, it actually bumps you backwards like ever so slightly like so many um pixels and when you float up again and drop back down it'll keep pushing you backwards and essentially you just back up enough to where you're considered off screen uh, and the enemy can't hit you um but you can still hit them that's kind of a dick move but from what i've heard um that can backfire because if you go too far off screen and you kill the enemy and then you kill the ghost, it'll make the um, treasure pile spawn off screen so you can't grab it. That's why I hurry up and, you know, jump forward with the last couple of hits so it'll spawn it like on screen. I know that was kind of a dick move, but he is a pain in the ass. His hits take off three damage, his bones take off one, and as you can clearly see, he morphed like three times. Making him like harder to like jump over because he gets larger and larger. Pain in my ass. So I'm sorry if you know you want me to see it. You know, see me fight that one like a good way. That's that wasn't gonna happen. I've never like you know 
beat him like easily. I've always had to beat him, you know, try to beat him like several times. And then I found out about this. I'm like, let me see if this actually works or if it's just like, you know, full of shit, you know. So it works, as you can clearly see. All right, so there we have it. Um, level 7 is complete. And when I come back, I'm going to start level 8, the final level, the Castle Interior 2. So until then, this is Sabe Knight on Let's Play Wizards and Warriors. Later, guys.